persuasive essay on why the book series Chobits should be banned, but not to everyone. I read this entire series and it had a lot of things that would qualify it to become a banned book. Uh, read the entire series, even though it was a good series, you know, not a lot of people would approve of it. It's going to be the main focus. Then we'll also get into what I would like to call maturity-based banning, which is, you know, basically banning based on maturity level, not necessarily an age level. And also, I'll have some examples of books that I consider overly banned or banned for pretty dumb reasons. Well, for the book Tobit, it's a, it's a manga series, so there's obviously pictures, so we also have to put um, pictures as a qualification. There are some of, some, re some of the main reasons that it is considered a banned book is because there, it, it's very unsuited to the age group, though I think that you can't really judge it by that. Um, I think that it would be considered that because it is sexually explicit, like, there's nudity in the pictures, and so, and then there's also some social scenarios, such as dating, both of the gender, both genders are hanging out, you know, and this one, in this book, there is drunken sleepovers, there's both sexes living together, and a little eloping, which makes, which makes everything, I guess, a little better. There's also some opinions of language. Yes, this book series does say the F words a few times. Yes, the F words. So, <laughs> yeah. That would probably, right there, give it a reason not to be put in schools at all. Which is probably why um, the online version of the book was blocked by my school's proxy. And, alright, so, I'm not saying that you should. I'm not saying to ban this to a high schooler, because by then they're most of the time, mo most of them are mature. I'm not saying all, I'm saying most of them are mature. But I'm also not saying that you should give this t to a first grader. You know, they're not mature enough, and they can be easily influenced. But some people don't see that. This There's a love story behind this. And it's a good love story. I personally think people, some of people can see that, but most can't. Like, I personally think that they put explicit things in there, like nudity in the pictures, so that, for business, basically, so creepy guys will go and get it, you know, which for sales, for sales, for sales. Otherwise, people might not buy it, but it was one of the first manga series I really got into, one of the more mature ones, and I know for a fact that, you know, you don't have to be in high school to understand the deep maturity of it. If I'm correct, I think I started reading that series when I was in sixth grade. I think so. Yeah, I think that's around the time, because I also got into another manga series around the same time. It wasn't as bad, but, you know. So, if people could just see the love story, I think manga would be more widely accepted. On to other things that are also important. Maturity-based banning. Not everyone's going to grow up at the same time. For example, I was able to see a love story behind dirty pictures when I was in sixth grade. Some people might not be able to see that until they're out of high school. Not everyone is going to be mature enough, you know, to handle these things. Like, one of the tests that I learned from my friends, I know this is a little off topic, but this is really the, the maturity thing, is that you know, and it's and it's true. 
if you cannot say penis without laughing, then you're probably not mature enough for that book. And, like, if you say it and then someone laughs and then you laugh because they're laughing, I'm, I'm okay with that. Because I think it's, it's a silly way to find maturity, but it's pretty accurate. So, just remember, if you want to, let some, someone read manga, do the test. Back to what I was saying, like, some people, when I was in middle school, were as mature as I was, and they could read manga, and not, you know, see it just as a dirty book, they could see a love story, which, you know, some people could see that, but they're, I'm saying this is, wasn't when I was in sixth grade, and I see some senior boys, or, and, gr and girls now, that, still can't handle it because they're so immature. Like, I, like again, again, like what I said, I'm not saying you could give every single high schooler book to a sixth grader, but you shouldn't deprive high schoolers of high school or adult books because we're practically adults when we're in high school. I think we should just be careful of those who aren't mature enough to handle it. Like, I'm saying censorship is okay to have. But it needs to be a limit. Like, we're going... It, censorship is like... This, like this lady I saw on White Sox about a month ago. She, um... She basically kept her kids in a boxed up world. She wouldn't let them walk down the sh street past the stop sign. She kept them in a little close thing of life. And they never got to experience anything. They were basically staying kids and they had, well, but they were super responsible kids. And then there was another lady who didn't have her kids do anything you know, they got to do whatever they want, but, you know, they didn't have to do any chores. So it's like a mix of those two families. Lit citizenship stunts our growth, but it protects. We can't, though, be protected forever. Eventually, we're going to have to be let go, and we're going to have to, you know, find out things on our own. You know, we cannot read Dr. Seuss for our whole lives. I think the guys did anyway, so there's just not going to be any more books. Once we read the whole, all the books, it would be our, the end of our, all literature. I think censorship should be used to protect children, but to a very small extent. You know, like... I'm certainly not saying go give a kid a, the book to read to kill a mockingbird before you know it. Every if you, you did, and every first grade would be like, "Mommy, look at all the new words I learned," and it'd be like, "Never mind." You have a story my friend told me about when she first learned square, learned about square roots. Ah, oh, good times, good times. All right. Well, according to YouTube, I can only have a. 15 minute or less video, so I'm splitting this report into two halves. Second half will have a quick review of this first half and also books that I consider overly banned.